If you receive a zip file that's either been downloaded from the internet or you got a zip file in an email, then you may want to know how to unzip it. Now, first off, you want to make sure there's no viruses in this file. So you can right click on it, go to show more options, and then click on scan with Microsoft Defender. Now, if you have any other type of anti-malware program besides Defender, you can scan it that way by right clicking on it as well. So you can see that it scanned it and it found no threats. So we're good to go ahead and unzip this. I'm going to right click on it now and I'm going to choose extract all. So if I choose extract all, it's going to put the files that are inside the zip into this new location. So if you want to change that location, you can do that before you click extract. But I'll just put it right there. Now what it did was it took the zip file and it created an unzip and put it in this, this particular folder with the same name. And there are my three files. At this point, I can go in and edit those files, delete them, or do whatever I'd like. Now, there's another option that you can do besides unzipping them, and that's just double-clicking on it. So if I double-click on the zip file, then it opens it up. However, the files are still in the zip file. They have not been extracted. This is just so you can take a look at them. So if you actually want to edit them, make other changes, things like that, then it's recommended that you instead do the first option, which I just did, which was the Extract All option. Then it actually extracts the file files and puts them in another location. Now you're still going to have the original file here. So if you no longer need that file, just go ahead and hit delete. But otherwise, your other three files are ready to be used. So that is how we extract a zip file in Windows 11.